how are you? Good, you have a good weekend. Thank you. As Lost and Found assistants, our job is to check in every single dog that comes into Battersea. So whether that's someone bringing their pet in for rehoming or whether they've found a stray. Great. Have you checked the calendar for what's coming in this morning? My name's Georgie and I'm a Lost and Found assistant here at Battersea. My name is Alice and I'm a Lost and Found assistant at Battersea as well. Is there many tomorrow? Um, we've had one cancellation. Here at Battersea we're quite well known and we have lots of yeah. customers coming us, to us for rehoming. I think it's important that we use that to our advantage and give more dogs from all around the country a good chance of rehoming. <laughs> we receive an average of about 800 calls a month of people inquiring about bringing their dogs in. So we work um, using an appointment system so we can give them a date and a time to come in. And we can also yeah, gather a bit of information like about the dog before it comes in. It gives us a bit of warning about what we're going to be dealing with. That might be medically or behaviourally, so we can prepare the behaviour team or the clinic team for when the dog arrives as well. Hi, I'm just calling to confirm your appointment at two o'clock tomorrow. Most of our dogs come from people bringing their own dogs in for rehoming, but we also receive dogs from dog wardens. Is it just one? Just one dog, I, I believe. Oh, it's cute. So wardens have just arrived, so we're just waiting for the dog to come in and then I'm going to scan it and get a collar and tag on. When the warden finds a dog, they let us know that they found it um, in case we have someone else coming to look for it so we can reunite them before they even arrive. If the dog doesn't get claimed, then they'll eventually come here. So Jamie came in from one of our wardens that we work with. Oh, um, he's quite a so nervous good. bulldog. Oh. I think he was picked up um, on the street. Oh, so cute. He was quite worried by all the different sounds and the noises and he was quite jumpy. Good boy. And we had to obviously check his microchip. Um, we had to change his collar and tan to make sure that it was all for Battersea. He's gorgeous. He's only eight months old. Yeah. And a dog of that age would normally be quite bouncy and excitable. So it seems like he's not been socialised properly. So maybe he's been kept away from people, other dogs. So coming somewhere like this is really overwhelming for him. We were able to make friends with him, which was quite nice. And he did become quite close to us. Good boy. Can I call him little Jamie? He's a little bit nervous. So obviously while we're feeding him some treats, so he gets used to us and just build his confidence up around people. He seems quite sound sensitive. So we just want to get him used to the surroundings before he goes up to his kennel. It's OK. Uh, it's like that, then. Cool. Uh, yeah, can I have some food? Sure, yeah, I've got food. Come on, then, have some food. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me go. Let's get into bed. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's what you wanted. He might have had a really tough start, um, but he's landed himself in the best place possible now. Now we're going to go back down to Lost and Found and we're going to see if George has made any more developments with the microchip to see if we can track down the owner. So I'm going to have to try ringing the people on the chip for Jamie because we don't know who they are. It says it's chipped to someone up north, so we should try and uh, find out if he's been lost or stolen at some point. So I'm just going to try this mobile number. The phone number isn't getting us anywhere, so I'm going to have to send them a postcard um, to the address on the microchip, um, and then we'll have to wait seven days to see if we get a response from them. It makes us feel sad but then you can always obviously like to see the progress, so him being so timid and nervous, but we can follow his progress through Battersea and the care and the love that the staff do give them. Like he will socialise with dogs on our site, he'll be meeting all the new kennel staff and then gradually, hopefully he'll be like come out of himself and he will be more like a puppy, bouncing around, enjoying it, and that'll be really rewarding at the end. We have an animal partners department, which is a dedicated department who 
help us to make connections with other organisations. So that includes other rescues and we work together to try and give every dog the best chance of free oh, homing. Wow. Come on then. One of my favourite things is um, getting my teeth into a really good investigation into an ownership for a dog and sometimes it can take you down lots of twists it's and turns until you find Fantastic. the owner so it's really satisfying. Seems like he's doing quite well actually. It's got the, um, the vet who chipped him oh, okay. so I might give them a call. Hi there, I'm calling from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home in London. Um, yeah, sometimes in this job you can feel a bit like a detective when you're trying to find an owner. It takes a little bit of digging, you know, lost dog websites, looking on the databases and phoning around, I'm phoning around vets, just him. trying to find the owner for a, a dog who's that gone missing. Well, that one's, oh, I, I remember once when we took in a dog um, that turned out it had been stolen um, five years previously um, and I remember um, calling up the owner not even knowing whether they you know were still around or if they were in a position to take the dog back because obviously so much can change in five years but then they did actually come and claim the dog so that was quite a special um, reunification because it just it had been so long since they'd seen their dog and they'd given up hope of finding their dog. Try and top that. I oh, know I'm not <laughs> top that. <laughs> I feel like I can always rely on every single member of the team to step in and help if you need it. There's just so much emotion obviously in this job and it's just lovely that we can rely on each other as well. We can sort of laugh through all the good times and watching dogs be rehomed. That moment is the most amazing feeling because when you find the dog and you've got all the chip decals and someone answers and it's just lovely just to hear oh, great. that person really excited on the phone and then they come travelling down as quickly as they can and it's just a really lovely moment to be a part of as well and they're always so grateful for your help and it's just lovely.